Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. And today I've got a beer review for you from Tall Grass. This is called 8-Bit. Yeah, this is an interesting beer. A very well-balanced beer. Uh, you'll notice that it was open before we started the video. That's because it was in the loser bracket of our March Madness kind of uh, bracket. Not that it's a loser. This is, we, we talk, if you go back and watch the video, you'll see that we were very, uh, we like this beer. Yep. Um, even though we want to do an official beer review on it because, you know, I think sometimes when we say loser in the bracket, I think a lot of good beers get knocked out right. early because of who they go against. Right. Same thing happens in March Madness, right? Yep. Um, but this beer itself is 5.2%. Uh, IBUs are 46. It uses uh, Columbus Centennial um, Cascade and Mosaic Hops, which I think good is a hops. very good like hot profile right. so it's with that knowing that up front i think when we went to go taste it our expectations were high i right. think they were met well and plus as we were talking off screen it says hop rocketed pale ale so we're wondering if they do use a hop rocket to get some of those hoppy flavors in there Right. But and for those that aren't familiar what a hop rocket is is basically when you transfer your wort into your carbo ferment, yeah your carbo your fermentation container you actually pass it through a cylinder full of hops and so you try and get more of that hop smell and hop aroma out of it not so much the flavor right but more so on the smell and the, maybe a little on the taste um, right so neither of us know like how that impacts a beer because we've never used right one. yeah i've never had one but if we look at it, very white head. I am starting to get some peaks in the head. Yeah. Small, medium bubbles, about a finger worth of head. <sighs> Straw yellow. Yeah. I'd some say. bubbles, very clear. Very. It is filtered. Yep. Smell? I, I can't get over that smell. That is yeah. a great smell. Like grassy, citrus, maybe a tiny bit of floral. Yeah. Pine is nothing. There's yeah. no pine, but... Yeah. In those hops, you wouldn't expect any pine, really. Taste? It's good. Very light. It, it um, you know, you get a lot of that hop character up front. You get the fruity. You get the, you know, the floral. A little bit of the floral. Right. But then it fades quickly. Right. But then you do get that hop lasting flavor right. in your mouth. Like I think you're, you're getting some pine in the very back. Yeah. Some pine residue kind of bitterness in the back. What would you give this out of five? Probably be a four. How about you? I, I would probably go with a four. I don't think, and going back to last year, I don't think it's on the level of fresh squeezed or go to. Right. But it's it's a good beer to mow your lawn, drink ten of them, you know, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and keep on doing the neighbor's yawn. Yeah, um, right. When they're passing out. Yeah, it's good. I think it's a good summer. You know, it's not bitter to the max where it's like, okay, this is good, but because of the bitter level is too high, I only want one. Yeah, it's to me, it's almost a perfect. IPA. Yeah, it's a, a well balanced beer. Right. Um, one thing I guess I would throw in there is wouldn't mind a little citra. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, I, yeah, and obviously as we're citrus, you know, fruity guys, I I would like the fruitiness up a little bit more. Yeah. But I I would buy a six pack and drink it all. Absolutely, easily a, a hands down good beer. Um, it's sad that I got knocked out in the first round, right. but at the same time, like we don't, we randomly pick these from a hat and right. it hey, went up against what it went up. When against. one goes against two, somebody's <laughs> got to lose. So, um, but still a very highly drinkable, right. good beer. And I would highly, yeah, you know, if you haven't it. had it, you should find it and drink it. Yep. Yep. So that'll wrap up this review for Tall Grass 8-Bit. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. Happy brewing. See you next time. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. 
Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.